Come on, Jay. We're all waiting for you, honey. How's he doing? He's stabilized. Still a lot more tests we've got to put him through. It's not fair. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have let him go to the ravine. Can't blame yourself. Accidents happen. It's no one's fault. Where am I? Between a rock and a hard place. I've got to get home. You're going to have to get Brad's permission for that. Why would I need his permission? You've got to get his permission for everything. He's our leader. The main man. He's the oldest. He's 15. Where can I find him? The tower. Where's the tower? Way off. It's hard to get to. What's that? Are you crazy? You want to get arrested? For what? For being different. Maybe they could have helped me. You kidding? They could have arrested us. What for? They don't have to have a reason. They're Brad's monitors. I've reset the monitors. You've been here for 29 hours straight. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I can't. He might wake up. Mrs. Ziegler, your son's in a coma. He might be that way for quite a while. How long? I don't know. I can assure you we're doing everything we can. The good news is there doesn't appear to be any brain damage. We can't tell for sure until he wakes up. Yeah. But I just want to help. You'll be better able to help if you're rested. When you come back, bring some of his favorite things. Things you might like. It could help. Okay. Thanks. No one's forcing you to hang around if you don't want to, Alpha. Who said I don't want to? Besides, you can't expect me to leave him with you, can you, Flash? At least I've got a club to take him to. You don't. I'll get one. Yeah, right. What club would want you? Who knows? Him and me could be a team. Get real. He's an outsider. Oh, no. In the name of the Library Club, I claim this book for the benefit of civilization. Bentley. I miss him, too. Well, what about this? You think you'd want this? Okay.
How about the telescope? Do you think he'd want the telescope? I'll bring it back to him. Best thing to do is to not touch anything around here. What's that? I don't know. I think it's where I live, where I want to go. See, this is my house, near the creek. Tree fort's here. I wish I could remember him. Gotcha. In the name of Brad, you're under arrest. What did I do? Everything you say will be used against you. What are you doing here? Jay's in the hospital, you know. So? I think we should both go to his mom and say we're sorry. Me? Why should I go? He wouldn't have fallen if you hadn't taken his telescope. Yeah? Well, whose idea was it for him to sneak up and get it back? Hey, look! Who am I? Get up, you stupid jerk. Great. Now what are you supposed to do? That kid's nothing but trouble. We've got to help him out. After all, it is our fault he got arrested. It is not. Maybe I could get the president of my club to petition the head monitor to let him go. Oh, right. Like, that'll work. What's your big idea? He's got to have a trial. I see. We go in there and see if we can't help him. Mm -mm, won't work. What if they've seen us? They'll recognize us. We'll wear costumes. Where will we get something like that? I don't know. We'll find something. OK. But I'll do all the talking. How do I know you won't run out on me? Give me something. Like what? That book you found. What do I get? My God. Hi, sweetheart. Brought you some things you might like. First off, let's have a hand for the big guy. And now, allow me to introduce one of the groovingest babes ever to wear the headband of Brad. Presiding over the trial circle today, will you welcome, please, the beautiful Bar. I give you the finger. Today's 
defendant is an outsider, a kid named Jay of No Fix Club, who defaced, crinkled, and did willfully trash this very happening poster of Brad. The punishment for which is to put on these cool threads and become the motive force of the vehicle of justice. Yeah. That's peddling to you. I didn't mean anything. I didn't know. That's what they all say. That's what Rolf said. Now, can I have three objective, fair-minded individuals up here for the jury? Are there any volunteers? Give us your name and your affiliation. My name's Tinker, Small Repair Club. Phil, Digging Club. Sit right down over here, guys. Is there a third? Here. My name's Flash. I'm with the, uh... Pool Club. Pool Club? Is that a real club? What do you do? We give kids swimming lessons. Introduce them to water. Stuff like that. Anybody want the thankless task of defending the accused? I'll do it, Your Honor. And who are you? I'm Alfred from the library club. OK, let's get the show on the road. How does the defendant plead? He's innocent. It's a setup. Not guilty, Your Honor. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your lawyer. Bumrap. He's taking the fall. Guilty with an explanation, Your Honor. Wait, uh, don't I get a chance to talk to my lawyer first? The defendant is out of order again. If you wish to address the court, you must do it through your lawyer. How can I do it through my lawyer if I can't talk to her? Have we done that before? Go ahead. Guilty. It's not guilty. It's guilty with an explanation. What's the difference? We're going for pity. You're a pathetic lost kid without a club. You're throwing yourself at the mercy of the court. Can you cry? But I'm innocent. They'll go harder on you if you plead innocent than if you plead guilty in the first place. But what if they do find me innocent? <laughs> Ain't gonna happen. The prosecution calls its first witness, formerly of the notices small things about other clubs club, now of the very select cyclist club, Rolf. Rolf, do you swear to shun all mendacity, fabrication, and spin doctoring so help you, Brad? Huh? You gonna lie to us, Rolf? No way. No, sir, not me. Objection, Your Honor. Now what is it? I happen to know for a fact that Rolf is your driver. I suspect you made a deal with him that if he testified against my client, he wouldn't have to peddle you around anymore. Are you accusing me of impropriety? No, of course not. But I happen to know that Rolf would say anything to get off the bike detail. Would you, Rolf? Heck, no, Your Honoris. There, that settles it. Overruled. Continue. Rolf, tell us in your own words exactly what awful thing did you notice about the defendant? First thing I noticed were his eyes. His eyes? What did you notice about them? They were too close together. The sign of a criminal mind. Interesting. But what exactly did he do, Rolf? He drew all over a poster of Brad, crumpled it up, carrying it around for everyone to see, like he was proud of it. He's guilty. He's got a pedal. I rest my case.
It's all right, Donna. You can come in. I know what a shock this must be for you. Here's Jay's King Arthur book. It's his favorite. Always meant to give it back. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Miss Ziegler, I want you to know I'm really sorry. I told Jay to go to Treeport. It's all my fault. Oh, no, sweetheart, don't blame yourself. Accidents happen. It's nobody's fault. Did you or did you not draw this cheesy looking picture? I drew it. What is it anyway? It's a map of where I live. Something strange is going on here. How did you find out about the secret tower places? What secret tower places? What you've drawn here is highly classified, top secret information of the inner circle. Where did you get it? I didn't get it. I drew it from memory. Does this mean you're changing your plea to guilty? Forget it. This trial's bogus. It's no fair. Real justice isn't big kids bullying little kids, locking somebody up just because he's different. Real justice is where everyone's treated fairly, and you have a chance to tell your side of the story. And they listen, no matter who you are, or where you're from, or what you look like. Even if you are alone and strange. Wow. Outrageous. Where do you get off, you little goof? You better show some respect. Not guilty! Not guilty! Not guilty! Not guilty! You've been influencing the jury? Me? Nope. What's this? What are you doing with a book from the library club? I'm afraid no children are allowed in the intensive care ward. But I was just visiting. I'm sorry. This is too upsetting for a child. I've been in lots of hospitals. I can't help it. This is our policy. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get you in. Bye, Jay. I borrowed it. I got a library card. Hmm. Why don't you read us something? Once upon a time, a long, long time ago... <clears throat> I'm an old man now. But then I was already past my prime when Arthur was crowned king. You can't read, can you? This is yours, isn't it? And yet, the juror had it? After all this talk about justice, these three have lied to us. That's enough. Take all three of them to the friendship mission for re-education. The show is over. Come on! One more! He's getting away! Oh, let's get away! Let's go! Come on! It's me, not her. It's now or never, man. Catch up! 
ได้นะอะไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม